Hello, good afternoon, students. So, in last class, we have discussed the different types of RC oscillators. So, now coming to the advantages as well as disadvantages and applications of these RC oscillators. So, what are the advantages of RC oscillators? So, see here. It does not require inductors. In RC oscillators, we know in a feedback, we do not need any inductors. So, that is nothing but these oscillators, they does not require inductors. So, this is the one advantage because inductors are costlier as well as their size is bulky. So, that is one advantage. Next is it can produce output of audio range frequency means RC oscillators, they are used for generating the audio frequencies. Audio frequencies means what? Low frequencies. So, that is frequencies of the order of range 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz audio frequency range. So, this audio frequency range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So, this is a small or low frequency signals. So, we call that as a audio frequency signals. So, in order to generate the low frequencies, we are going to employ our RC oscillators. So, that is the second advantage. Third one is frequency stability is good. Frequency stability means what? In output side, there are no damped signals, damping is not there as well as constant amplitude signals are generated. And the no damping irangila, constant amplitude signal generate aktava, constant with a constant frequency. So, that is the frequency stability is good. Frequency stability means frequency is almost constant. Frequency will not change. Frequency almost constant at the three RC oscillators name. Next, it can be used as a variable frequency oscillator. So, that means that if you want to change the frequency, so that can be changed by changing the values of R and C. So, that is nothing but it can be used as variable frequency oscillator by using the it is possible to use variable resistors that is your uh, resistive networks they can be changed the resistance values can be changed or not only that capacitance can also be changed by using the variable capacitors. So, by means of that frequency can be varied frequency change marbodri not only that the circuit is compact and less expensive. The circuit because of it employs capacitor and resistor it is compact means smaller in size circuit constructed with a oscillator it is smaller in size not only that it is less expensive cost of that circuit is also very much less. So, these are the advantages you will advantages over in and advantages inductors are not going to be employed in the circuit that is the one advantage. Second one is nothing but they are used to produce the audio frequency signal. Third one is advantage means here frequency stability is good that is frequency remains constant they can be used to generate the variable frequencies very very frequencies means variable you can change the frequency whenever required. So, that is possible in case of RC oscillator and not only that last and the not least that is they are circuit is comp compact small as well as it is inexpensive or less expensive. So, these are the advantages. So, along with that these circuits are also having their own disadvantages. So, you could in our disadvantages over in in our it is difficult to change the all values of capacitor and resistors they are going to be employed in the circuit whenever you want to change the frequency. Suppose you frequency change mod be kagitandra all resistance feedback ni in worry all resistors all capacitor values are to be changed. So, that is not easier. So, that is very difficult to change the values of capacitance and all the reactance re resistances. So, they are going to be used whenever change in frequency is required. frequency change All those values are needed to be changed. So, that is one. It is not easy to start the oscillation because feedback is low. So, oscillations immediately start agingila means whenever circuit is turned on, turned on madid male, circuit will not generate any signals immediately. Why? Because feedback is low. Ekandra other feedback in birth to the that feedback voltage is very small because of that 
oscillations will not be produced immediately in a RC oscillator circuit that is one disadvantage and the circuit gives low output. So, because of that here one more disadvantage is it gives low output, low output and the small amplitude and low frequency signals. So, that is the output is nothing but electrical oscillations whose amplitude as well as frequency is low. It cannot be used to generate high frequencies means if you want to generate high frequency then you are going to make use of LC oscillators, LC oscillator use mod bakery. But whereas here these RC oscillators they cannot be used to generate the high frequency that is one disadvantage and the value of components whatever we are using the components in a feedback they are resistors and capacitor they are temperature dependent as temperature changes the frequency of oscillation also changes. So, frequency does not remain constant means whenever you are going to employ these oscillators in a changing temperature environment in such condition what happens the frequency of oscillations also does not remain constant it changes because of the values of components that is resistor and capacitor they change with the, their values change with the temperature. So, when their values change automatically frequency of oscillation also changes and hence your frequency stability cannot be achieved in case of RC oscillators. Next coming to the application is still a disadvantage is a very RC oscillator use mode. Next coming to the application area where they are going to be used since we know that these RC oscillators they are going to generate the low frequency signals that is nothing but they are used in commercial audio frequency generators commercial and day to day life commercial audio frequency means our radio signals television signals as well as in a small applications audio frequency applications low frequency applications again marti vantandra commercial purpose salvagi so these RC oscillators are used, all stay use Marthuri for low frequency application as well as they are used in low frequency means smaller frequency wherever it is required for that purpose we are going to make use of RC oscillators. So, this is about the advantages, disadvantages as well as application areas where these RC oscillators are going to be employed. Next moving on to the limitations of LC and RC oscillators. So, what are the limitations of this LC and RC oscillator? The frequency of LC and RC oscillators they does not remain constant. Why? Because as the temperature changes the values of inductances as well as resistances they changes. As the values of inductances and resistance value changes automatically frequency of oscillation also changes and frequency stability cannot be obtained in both RC as well as LC oscillator. This is the one limitation of these circuits. Not only that the LC circuit is bulky and expensive. LC circuit means our LC oscillator they make use of inductors and capacitors. So, whenever they are used at low frequency becomes then the values of inductors and capacitance they are required is very large because of that the size of the circuit becomes very bulky as well as when size is also increased not only that the component cost is also high that is expensive. So, these are the limitations of using our LC and RC oscillators. Next, next moving on to the comparisons that is nothing but what are the advantages of RC oscillators over LC oscillator. E compare Madhuri, two types of oscillators they are going to be compared your RC oscillator and LC oscillator. What are the advantages of RC oscillators over your LC oscillators? So, here at low frequency large values of L and C are required and their size is bulky. So, we are comparing our LC oscillator with that of RC oscillator means in LC oscillators the feedback components are your inductance and capacitances means at low frequency what happens the values of inductors and capacitances required are very high. When their values becomes large automatically the size of that components also becomes large. So, because of that what happens it is also bulky as well as it is costliest expensive and hence LC tuned oscillator is not suited for low frequency applications. 
One thing is that these LC oscillators they cannot be employed for low frequency application. Why? Because of this reason the size of that uh, entire LC circuit tank or LC oscillator circuit it is very bulky or large and not only that it cost is also very high expensive. So, because of that LC oscillators they are not going to be employed at low frequencies. So, this one whereas RC oscillators they can be used for low frequency applications. Here next one is RC oscillator do not require any inductors thereby reducing the size and cost. In RC oscillator what happens in a feedback it just only requires resistor and capacitor and the circuit does not employ any of inductors because of that what happens when there are no inductors that means that automatically size of the circuit becomes compact as well as cost is also very much less. So, for inductors the cost is high, but whereas when you does not require inductors means the cost is size is reduced as well as cost is also very much less. Next is RC oscillators provide constant output and good stability. Compared to your LC oscillators, these RC oscillators they generate the constant output, output is almost constant as well as good stability. So, they have good stable signals, they are going to be generated electrical oscillation by means of a RC oscillators as compared to that of your LC oscillators. So, this uh, advantages of RC oscillators over LC oscillator is very very important. So, they may ask in examination for 2 marks. Not only that these advantages are also very important in examination this, this question may be asked for your examination for 2 marks. So, this is the RC oscillators comparisons advantages as well as disadvantages. Now, let us solve the problems related with uh, your Wayne Bridge oscillator, two or more problems they are given in your test book. So, let us solve those uh, two to three problems on your RC oscillator that is Wayne Bridge oscillator. So, first problem is given a vein bridge oscillator has R1, R2 and R is equal to 15 kilo ohm. So, that is in a bridge network whatever resistors are going to be used their values are given capacitance is C1 and C2. So, that is going to be used in a vein bridge it is equal to 100 nano farad determine the frequency of oscillation. So, frequency of oscillation can be directly determined using our formula F is equal to 1 over 2 pi root of LC uh, sorry 1 over 2 pi RC by using that RC or root of R1 R2 into L1 L2 by using that frequency formula we can easily calculate the substituting the values directly we can find the frequency of oscillation that is simple. Now, let us solve the second problem in which the frequency of Wayne bridge oscillator second one the frequency of frequency of Wayne bridge oscillator Wayne bridge oscillator is 75 hertz and the capacitance capacitance value is C is equal to how much 0.22 microfarad calculate the value of resistance calculate the value of resistance calculate the value of resistance. Here since we know that the formula for determining the resistance. So, we know that Wayne bridge oscillator whatever given. So, first write down the given data in this problem. So, they have given the frequency of oscillation as 75 hertz and capacitance is equal to 0.22 microfarad and they have asked to find out the resistance. So, we know that frequency of oscillation is given by 1 over 2 pi R C. So, directly all values of R 1, R 2 capacitors are same here. 
now using this frequency now find out the value of r so we bring r here r is equal to 1 by 2 pi and frequency in the denominator cross multiplication frequency into capacitance now so this is 1 divided by 2 3.142 into frequency is how much 75 and capacitance is 0.22 microfarad that is 0.22 micro means what 10 raise to minus 6 farad so that is 0.22 into 10 raise to minus 6 farad so here r is equal to we we take this 10 raise to minus 6 into the numerator then it becomes plus 6 10 raise to plus 6 divided by 2 into 3.142 into 75 into 0.22 so that is 10 raise to 3 into 10 raise to 3 divided by the value of that multiplication so that is 2 into 3.142 into 75 into 0.22 so 103.686 that is 1000 divided by 103.686 is equal to 9.644 into 10 raise to 3 that is 9.6 kilo ohm resistance required is how much 9.6 kilo ohm so for this particular problem so next is the frequency of vein bridge oscillator second problem sorry third one the frequency of the frequency of vein bridge oscillator frequency of vein bridge oscillator is 100 hertz 100 hertz if the value of resistance resistance used is 12 kilo ohm determine the value of capacitance determine the value of capacitance value of capacitance so this is another type of problem so it may be asked in your examination this type so here whatever the data is there first write down that value of data given data given data so that is frequency of oscillation is given as 100 hertz and resistance is equal to 12 kilo ohm 12 kilo means 12 into 10 raise to 3 ohm and find the value of capacitance we know that frequency is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc so we have to find this capacitance so bring this capacitor value here c so take this frequency into denominator that is 2 pi into frequency into value of r that is 1 divided by 2 into 3.142 into frequency is how much 100 resistance value is given as 12 kilo ohm so directly multiply these values Two into three point one four two into hundred hundred into twelve kilo is this much? So we get is one point three two six or one thirty two one thirty two point six capacitance value is one thirty two point six. 119 into 10 raise to minus 9 farad or capacitance is equal to 132.6119 nano farad capacitance is going to be employed in the circuit so this type of problems may be asked in your examination e type problems care both in your examination so i have tried for that so in exercise questions also the same type of problems are there so solve those problems as an assignment or problems and assignment are solve solved so next is next type of third type of oscillators are your crystal oscillators so this completes your lc and rc oscillators so next one next point is our crystal oscillator
क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर एंड हेयर वी स्टडी अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर वॉट आर दीज क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर्स सो द ऑसिलेटर सर्क्यूट्स दैट इज नथिंग बट अवर टैंक सर्क्यूट इन अ फीडबैक नेटवर्क सो दैट इज इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ क्रिस्टल क्वार्ट्स क्रिस्टल इन अ फीडबैक पाथ सो देन सच टाइप ऑफ ऑसिलेटर्स वी कॉल इट एज ए क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर मीन्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स और टैंक सर्क्यूट दे आर गोइंग टू एम्प्लॉय various type of components accordingly that we have classified our oscillators as rc oscillators lc oscillators and crystal oscillators here in crystal oscillator the oscillator circuit in a tank that is in a feedback network it consists of crystal so because of that this oscillator we call it as a crystal oscillator so here in this crystal oscillator so the crystals they are going to operate with a particular principle so what is that principle on what principle these crystals they are going to generate the frequency of oscillations or electrical oscillation so that is here we are studying the principle of crystal oscillator so principle of crystal oscillator here in this the oscillator whatever the crystals they are going to be employed they are going to use the they operate with the principle of piezoelectric effect so that is whatever the crystal they are going to be used in our oscillator circuit piezo electric effect piezo electric effect so they are going to operate with the principle of piezo electric effect what is this piezo electric effect in this piezo electric effect whenever in ac signal voltage whenever an ac means alternating current changing voltage means ac voltage or sinusoidally varying voltage is going to be applied to the your crystal oscillate crystals so that is nothing but there are crystals are available in nature so that piece of crystal slab is taken to that crystal slab so they are going to apply or across that they are going to apply the ac voltage whenever ac voltage is applied then what happens because of that ac voltage whatever the molecules are there inside the crystal they starts vibrating with a particular frequency of uh, oscillations walagade enaktava molecules vibrate aglik start aktavri so that leads to the mechanical vibration inside the crystals so that causes mechanical vibrations means here suppose assume that here a crystal slab is taken across this what they are going to apply the ac voltage so here an ac alternating ac voltage is going to be applied to this particular crystal across the crystal or surface of the crystal here so it is nothing but the crystal so this crystal whenever they are going to apply the ac voltage so then what happens because of this change in alternating voltage that that is going to be applied to the surfaces of your crystal inside this the molecule starts vibrating so that causes the mechanical vibrations inside the crystal so that causes mechanical vibrations so due to that what happens mechanical vibrations so that mechanical vibration itself it gives rise to the oscillating current so that is nothing but this mechanical vibration so it gives rise to electrical oscillations it gives rise to electrical oscillations and your crystal starts oscillating with a particular frequency of oscillation id crystal irthadri so this crystal starts oscillation idan remove martara amel en martara once they are going to be excited once the crystals are excited so that in that it causes the mechanical vibration those mechanical vibration itself it gives rise to the electrical oscillations inside the circuits so that that electrical oscillations of certain frequencies they are going to be 
produce. Ido vibrate agle katandre na to the electrical oscillation generate agta va. So that electrical oscillations they are going to be obtained across the crystal. Ili na we na to the finally we will get the electrical oscillations by which method by piezoelectric method. By piezoelectric method that is nothing but by applying a suitable alternating voltage to your crystal then it causes the mechanical vibration inside the crystal which gives rise to the electrical oscillations or which gives rise to your alternating voltage at across the crystal. So, this alternating voltage is going to be obtained across the crystals which are going to be used in our oscillator circuit. So, this is the concept of piezoelectric effect. Since there are varieties of crystals are available among that what were uh, different types of crystals. So, which exhibit the piezoelectric effect. This piezoelectric effect is going to be exhi exhibited by so three types of crystals which are they they are nothing but your rockel salt, rockel salt and rockels salt and quartz crystal quartz crystal and thermaline crystal thermaline crystal so there are three types of crystals which exhibits piezoelectric effect so nature nagenadri variety of crystals are available among that this piezoelectric effect is going to be produced by means of rockel salt quartz crystal as well as thermaline crystals so here rockel salt first so this rockel salt it exhibits the maximum amount or the strongest piezoelectric effect strongest piezoelectric effect among these three is introduced by means of this rockel salt because of that this rockel salt is going to be employed as a crystal in our day to day life applications like in our microphones as well as in the headsets. So, in microphones and in headsets, in headsets as well as in our loudspeakers. So, we are going to make use of this rockel salt. So, they are going to be used as a crystal for your oscillation generations for that purpose they are going to be used even though they are mechanically very weak. So, here what happens they are not too much stronger because of that they can break easily you may mechanically as to strong gringilla because of that that rockel salt it breaks easily even though they cannot and they are readily affected by means of your temperature variations like moisture as well as temperature or heat because of that this rocket salt is used for limited applications. So, this one is disadvantage. Next one is thermaline crystal. This thermaline crystal it exhibits very least piezoelectric effect. Least piezoelectric effect and exhibit the least piezoelectric and the small piezoelectric effect tree. Least piezoelectric effect, but even though it is mechanically very strongest mechanically stronger strongest among the three it is mechanically stronger to the but it exhibits least piezoelectric effect due to that it is very expensive and hence not used for many of your applications we are not going to use this thermaline crystal and next one is our quartz crystal that is very very important crystals which are going to be used in our crystal oscillators this quartz crystal itself we are going to use but instead of that this quartz crystal it exhibit the piezoelectric effect which is the compromise between your rockel salt as well as thermaline crystals in between these two compromise means what the moderate piezoelectric effect that is going to be exhibited by quartz crystal so these quartz crystals they are going to be used for most of the oscillator applications because why they are readily available in nature. So, they are inexpensive as well as readily available in nature because of that we are going to use this quartz crystal. So, these are less you these are used for minimal application they are not going to be employed, but we are going to use the quartz crystal because of its property piezoelectric property which is 
efficient for our use in electrical oscillator circuits. So, this is the principle of crystal oscillator. So, next is after that the circuit symbol of crystal oscillator, electrical circuit symbol of crystal oscillator, electrical circuit symbol. In circuit how we represent the crystal oscillator? crystal oscillator, electrical circuit symbol of crystal oscillator. So, whenever this crystal is going to be used in our oscillator circuit, then how it is going to be represented? A crystal slab, nothing but a small crystal slab, a small crystal slab. So, this one is nothing but a crystal slab or cut that is going to be mounted between the two metallic electrodes. So, that is nothing but these are the two holding holding metal plates. So, these are holding metal plates or they are also called as electrodes metallic electrodes. So, these are also called as metallic electrodes between that here this one is the crystal crystal slab or crystal cut a small crystal cut or slab it is going to be introduced between your two capacitors sorry two metallic plates. So, which acts like a crystal oscillator. So, this is the electrical circuit for your crystal oscillator electrical circuit now, now hang represent one theory E type represent one theory. So, these are represented like this in this way a crystal oscillator is represented in a electrical circuit. Next is AC equivalent circuit of crystal oscillator. So, AC equivalent circuit of AC equivalent circuit of crystal oscillator AC equivalent circuit of crystal oscillator. So, this electrical crystal itself it behaves as an electrical circuit internally. So, it consists of resistor So, electrical equivalent circuit of crystal oscillator it is shown like this. So, this electrical or crystal whenever it is going to be used in our oscillator circuit. So, electrically it works like this AC equivalent circuit is the crystal key equivalent circuitry. So, this one is the crystal which behaves this circuit particularly it behaves like this internally whenever we connect an AC voltage across the crystal then it operates like a AC equivalent circuit. So, in this AC equivalent circuit it consists of series resonance circuit. So, this one is called as series resonance circuit RLCS. So, that is RLCS is called series resonance circuit. It is called series resonance circuit series resonance circuit and where R L C S they are connected in series and also there is a C M is which is this combination is connected in parallel with C M. So, this C M is nothing but mounted mounting capacitance it is called as mounting capacitance mounting capacitance of the crystal circuit mounting capacitance of crystal circuit and where R L C S are the series combination of resonant circuits. So, this one is the electrical equivalent Nimak 2 mark secure bodhri draw the electrical equivalent circuit of crystal oscillator crystal in a oscillator circuit whose electrical equivalent circuit is this one crystal in a either equivalent circuit 
so the equivalent circuit it behaves like this circuit that circuit it compromises of how it operates it operates as a combination of rlc resonance circuit which is in parallel with the mounting capacitance so this circuit itself here so again here in this uh, circuit so whenever it is going to be employed in uh, oscillator circuit idanni yavag na oscillator circuit na connect maadidiv antandre crystal anna whenever it is used in a oscillator whenever crystal is not vibrating so suppose crystal is not vibrating means what crystal is not vibrating when crystal is not vibrating there is no ac voltage is going to be applied across the crystal at that time crystal is not oscillating so whenever crystal is not oscillating at that time it behaves as an mounting capacitance means the circuit itself the crystal behaves as a mounting capacitance whenever it is not vibrate crystal is not vibrating means at that time no oscillations and hence it acts like a means your crystal acts like a it acts like a mounting capacitance cm it acts like a mounting capacitance that is cm it acts like a mounting capacitance that is cm so but whenever crystal is oscillate vibrating when crystal is vibrating at that time what happens the vibrating circuit means it consists of this series combination of it acts like a tuned circuit that means that your crystal it acts like a tuned circuit crystal itself it acts like tuned circuit tuned circuit so that in that vibrating circuit this l represents so the electrical equivalent of so l is nothing but it is a electrical equivalent of crystal mass crystal the mass est irthada adar the electrical equivalent value ne irthada inductance irthadri that behaves that is crystal mass itself behaves as an inductor and whereas cs is nothing but it is a capacitance so this is electrical equivalent of elasticity of this crystal so with what elasticity it is going to vibrate so that elasticity it represent the cs and r represent the electric electrical equivalent of mechanical friction so whatever the mechanical friction is obtained inside the crystal that is represent your resistance of this circuit means these values they itself internally related with that crystal properties that is r represent the mechanical friction l represent the crystal mass and cs represent the crystal elasticity property so whereas here cm it is going to represent the mounting capacitance mounting capacitance that is nothing but it is existed due to the metallic plates which acts like say like a electrodes of a capacitance so between that the dielectric material is nothing but your crystal slab so these crystal itself the metallic electrodes they acts like a capacitance that capacitance we call it as a mounting capacitance this mounting capacitance where the dielectric material itself is a electrical your crystal slab so that crystal slab it acts as a dielectric material in that capacitance so this is a cm so which are present in this particular circuit they exhibit particular properties of your crystal itself where always your cs in the circuit is always smaller than cm cs in it the yavaglu it is always smaller than the value of cm cm kinta yavaglu value in it the kadim irthada next en bartadri the natural frequency crystals whenever they are going to be used in the circuit next about the crystals crystal that is quartz crystal when it is going to be used when used in a oscillator circuit when it is used in a oscillator circuit so that is whenever this crystal is going to be used in a oscillator circuit the crystal has two frequencies so it it is having crystal is having 
ಟೂ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸೀಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಟೂ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿಲಿಂದ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರಿ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸೊನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸೀಸ್ ಒನ್ ರೆಸೊನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ರೆಸೊನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಇದು ಎರಡು ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿಲಿಂದ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರಿ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ರೆಸೊನೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ರೆಸೊನೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ರೆಸೊನೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ರೆಸೊನೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟರ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ದ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟರ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇವರ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಫ್ ಪಿ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಫ್ ಪಿ ನೋಡು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಏನ್ರಿ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟರ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಇವರ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಯು ಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವಾಗ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆಸಿಲೇಟರ್ನಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ದಟ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಲೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಫ್ ಎ ವೇರ್ ಎಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಫ್ ಪಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಆಚ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸೊ ವೇರ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ವೇರ್ ಕೆ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ವೇರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಕಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಕಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಕಟ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಟಿ ಇಟ್ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಟು ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೋ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದ ಫ್ರಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ನಾವು ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ವಾಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ರಿಸೊನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ರಿಸೊನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲಲ್ ರಿಸೊನೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ resonance and next one is parallel resonance parallel resonance series resonance and parallel resonance what do you mean by series resonance since we know that a crystal quartz crystal whenever it is connected to an alternating voltage then what happens it starts oscillating that frequency of oscillation it has two types either it may operates with a series resonating frequency or it may operate with a parallel resonating frequency at some frequencies what happens at some frequencies at some frequency when the reactance of that is reactance of inductor in the circuit already we know that that is the circuit of crystal like this cm and here it consists of resistance inductor and capacitance so
and because of that what happens the frequency of oscillation of crystal at this oscillator circuit at this series resonant frequency series resonant condition the frequency of oscillation is given by fs is equal to it is called as series resonance frequency so the crystal starts oscillating with a frequency of oscillation at a series resonance circuit because of that that frequency itself we call it as a series resonant frequency which is given as 1 divided by 2 pi root of lcs 1 divided by 2 root of 2 pi lcs so this is the condition at which what happens whenever it is operating in a series resonant condition in the circuit the impedance that is the crystal offers low impedance ille enagutadri crystal in of the series resonant and it offers low impedance at that which is almost equal to which is almost equal to r almost equal to r resistance of the circuit you have to cancel like but theory so because of that it circuit acts like a series resonant circuit idu one connect aagutadri so because of that it operates with a series frequency of oscillation and that frequency of series resonance oscillator crystal oscillator frequency is given as 1 divided by 2 pi root of lcs so next one is parallel resonance parallel resonance what happens at slightly higher frequencies at slightly higher frequencies at slightly higher frequency what happens at slightly higher frequency the total that is nothing but the net reactance of series resonant reactance net reactance of series resonance series resonance that is nothing but reactance we can write it as x rlc becomes equal to reactance of your reactance of mounting capacitance when this becomes equal to mounting capacitance id elladerdu reactance total reactance when it becomes equal to the reactance of mounting capacitance at that time we say that the crystal is said to be operated or acts like a parallel resonant circuit at this time it behaves like a acts like a crystal acts like a parallel resonant circuit parallel resonance circuit and the frequency of oscillation so at this time the frequency of oscillation of that particular crystal for parallel resonance circuit that is called as frequency of parallel frequency of parallel resonant so that is frequency of parallel resonant is given as 1 divided by 2 pi root of l c e q 1 divided by 2 pi root of l c e q where c e q is nothing but it is the equivalent capacitance of those two capacitors c s and c m so that is c m c s divided by c m plus c s since we know that since we know that this c e q is always c e q is always less than c s always it is less than cs so whenever it is less and automatically fp is obviously higher than fs fp that is parallel resonating frequency is always greater than the series resonating frequency so this is about the quartz crystal so next the sketch of variation of this frequency with the reactances of this crystal is plotted with a graph here let us consider the sketch of that uh, reactance versus frequency so this is a frequency here it is inductive reactance reactance inductive and here it is capacitive reactance here reactance is there which is capacitive so the graph of that one
So, this one is FS slope at particular slightly normal frequency what happens your reactance of inductance varies like this. So, this one is nothing but FP, FP reactance and this one is here in this inductive reactance FS is always less than FP that is series resonating frequency of crystal is always less than parallel resonating frequency. So, whenever circuit completely becomes reactive at that time FP occurs whenever it is changes from inductive to capacitive then it behaves as a series resonating frequency at low frequencies. At low frequencies when circuit reactances both become almost equal that is XL is equal to reactance of inductance is equal to the reactance of capacitance then at that time it behaves as a series resonating frequency. But when entire net reactance of the RLC circuit when it becomes equal to the mounting reactance of mounting capacitance at that time it behaves as a parallel resonating circuit. This is the sketch of or you may say that graph or sketch of sketch of reactances versus reactances versus frequency for this particular crystal. So, in this from this graph it indicates that FP is always greater than FS. So, that our crystal oscillates whenever it is connected in a oscillator circuit it operates in between these two and it operates within the lie the frequency of oscillator circuit lie within the range of FS and FP. So, this is about the crystal oscillator circuit. Now, consider the crystal oscillator itself circuit diagram of crystal oscillator. crystal oscillator. So, circuit diagram, circuit diagram of this crystal oscillator same it consists of an RFC choke previously as we have discussed in other two types of oscillator Hartley and Colpitt's oscillator the same circuit here. So, here is the circuit diagram of crystal oscillator sir. In this crystal oscillator it consists of a amplifier circuit along with the feedback. In feedback there is a crystal oscillator is going to be employed. So, here already we know that RFC choke that is radio frequency choke is used for isolating our 
electrical oscillation ac oscillation with that of a dc voltage supply and as well as here coupling here emitter bypass capacitor is used to bypass the ac current to the ground not only that cc and c input side and output side these are the coupling capacitor used to couple only ac signals and to bypass or and to block the dc signals so here r1 r2 r e resistors they are used to provide the proper dc biasing to the transistor so that stabilization should be provided so that it should operate in a active region so that is the main concept of this circuit here so in a feedback circuit a crystal is going to be employed if feedback nahi and mantra crystal use mantra so this crystal it operates or oscillate with a particular frequency of oscillation so that is it acts like a inductive whenever ac signal frequency is nothing but it is high so it acts like a inductor so whenever series resonant frequency is high at a series resonant whenever frequency of oscillation is less than series resonant frequency then it acts like a inductive reactance or it acts like a pure inductor but as soon as this crystal is going to be operate actually it is excited in a series resonant mode so whenever it is going to be connected in your oscillator circuit here it is perfectly behaves as an series resonating mode the main concept is here it operates as a series resonating mode so that means that here in this circuit whenever it is excited it acts in a series resonating mode because it is connected in a feedback in the series path from your collector terminal to the base of a transistor amplifier circuit here in this circuit so that in this feedback it generates the electrical oscillations with a series resonating frequency so that the whatever the output is obtained that is going to be taken the output of electrical oscillations are equal to your frequency of series resonating frequency whose outputs they are taken at your collector terminal or voltage potential across the capacitor c1 so here in this circuit main concept is here the amplifier whichever is going to be used it introduces a phase shift of 180 degree so that is amplifier here in this circuit whenever signals they are going to be applied as an feedback due to that amplifier introduces a phase shift of 180 degree here so that is going to be introduced by means of an amplifier and one more 180 degree phase shift is going to be introduced by means of your output voltage across the capacitor which is applied as an feedback to the input base of your transistor so this capacitor also introduces or feedback network it introduces a phase shift of 180 degree therefore total phase shift around the closed loop total phase shift around the closed loop is 180 plus 180 is 360 degree so which is required to generate the electrical oscillation sustained electrical oscillations or to achieve the positive feedback concept because of that positive feedback is going to be achieved and the frequency of oscillator is given by the series resonant frequency of uh, crystal oscillator that is 1 divided is equivalent to series resonating frequency that is 1 divided by root of 2 pi l cs this is the frequency of oscillation of this crystal oscillator circuits in examination you have to draw this circuit in this circuit you have to explain the different uh, resistor components their purposes they are going to be used in a electrical circuit not only that you have to explain the working so in this working the crystal behaves as an electrical series resonant circuit and oscillate with a series resonating frequency that series resonating frequency itself is the frequency of oscillation of a crystal of crystal oscillator so which is given by 1 by 2 pi root of l cs so here in this the frequency of oscillations which are going to be obtained at the output side so they are very stable frequency of oscillations stable means constant frequency of oscillation and this frequency of oscillation frequency in it the it is not going to be changed whenever if there are changes are made in a supply voltage suppose new supply voltage na gain re change madidra frequency will not be changed not only that it is not going to be affected by means of changing the parameters of your transistor transistor parameters in a change madidru the frequency of oscillation is not affected so because of that here stable frequency of oscillation 
are going to be produced by means of a crystal oscillator as compared to that of other two types of oscillators.